again, if you want to, you can alternate between um, brush sizes. Also, some spots seem to be a little too rough, or you want them softer, you can go ahead and click on the smudge tool. If you don't see it there, then you can do that by um, clicking on this little arrow and um, dragging your mouse over to the smudge tool. Okay? And make sure your strength is somewhere around 40 to 50 or 60. Not too much, but not too little. And you just want to go ahead and pull at the ends so they smudge and become a little softer. Yep. But remember, variation is very good. So if you can have some parts that are a little rough and some parts that are soft. Okay. Some dark spots here. And there. Okay, like I said, pull at the ends or even at the middle, you know, just experiment and you'll find. Like so. So that's all I'm going to do for now <laughs> because I'm, I don't intend to finish this picture. So, but you pretty much get the idea, I hope. You no. Know. And sometimes you don't even have to just, you don't even have to go all the way to the to the ends of the original shadows, you know, you don't have to do it along, you can even just do it here, you know, like where it's not even touching the other shadows, or at least the ends of the other shadows. See? You can run the, the smudge tool over that. So really, just add your own um, experiment, I mean and you'll find what you like best. Okay? And as you can see, it's a not finished picture, but it's kind of finished. Well, not really, it's just the hair at least. But I usually go with a lot more detail than this, but since this is a um, faster picture, I only did, did this much. So, Also, if you, know, you want to add something else to your picture, you can go over to the burn tool. It's this little hand right here. And if you can't see it, like I said before, click on the little arrow and find it. Click it. You have it. Alright. And um, what you want to do next is you want to go to the top here and you want to make sure that the range is set to midtones. And that the exposure, it's not 100, but somewhere, like I said before, 40 to 60. Or a little more if you know, if you. If you want, just experiment. Okay, and you want a soft brush. You know, click any of the soft brushes. And make the brush pretty big. Okay? And what you want to do is shade in the ends. And you want to, you know, go as dark as you feel like it. Or at least how you think will look best. You know, you want to be ra you want to be really random in the spots you darken, so it gives a nice look. Unless, it, of course, you're working with um, a light source. Alrighty. Well, that's um, pretty much it for that. And also, if you want to add a little shine, you can go and click on the dodge tool, and you do that by clicking on this arrow here where the burn tool is. Clicking dodge tool, and then you want to make sure the range is set to highlights. The exposure is about, I don't know, 
40 to anywhere else. You want to be liberal with this. You know, what you think looks best. Click on a soft brush. Make it a bit bigger. And you want to sweep it over. Usually I don't give highlights just because, you know, that's my preference. But you can do it if you think it looks good. Of course, you can also play with the exposure. You know, you can add for less and, you know, just add in some parts that you think will look good. You can add some here. Like that. Or, yeah, you know, I want black. Okay, and some here. Okay, that's pretty much it. And one more thing before I come to the conclusion of this tutorial. Um, there's another technique I tend to use mostly on girls. No, you know what? I use it on anybody. Um, I don't do it in all of my pictures, but in some. I'll add um, extra strands of hair. And to do this, I, of course, I make a new layer on top of the hair layer and call it strands. Okay. Okay, um, and do you wanna, you know what, I'm just gonna leave my picture at 100, I don't need to zoom in because he's pretty good as it is. And I am going to choose a color that is pretty light compared to the, the original color of the hair. So maybe kind of whitish, I guess. And um, I'm going to choose, or I'm, you're going to uh, hit the brush tool, which is right here. And you want to change uh, the brush to a hard brush. And make sure the size is like um, three. Yeah, that's good, three. And you want to add uh, strands wherever you want it to go. Don't be scared if it looks ugly at first, but we'll, you'll see what we'll do next. Let's just start adding. Oh, wait, <laughs> my bad. You want to make sure that the strand layer is on top of the outline layer. And do that by dragging the strands on top of the outline. Sorry. <sighs> okay, let's see. Okay, now we have it on top. Make sure your, make sure your, your strand layer is selected. Okay. All right. Um, make sure your opacity up here is at 100, flow 100, mode at normal. Okay? And you want to start adding strands. You know what? I'm going to go with a little bit smaller on this. I'm going to go two pixels. Okay. Alright, so just add wherever you want them. Sometimes it's a little hard to, to d decide. Man, my accent, seriously. To decide. And, um,. But yeah, you just want to experiment to see where you want them. I'm just going to put mine here. Let's see. Don't be scared if it looks ugly at first. Just keep, you'll see once we get there. Of course, you know, this is optional. You don't have to add the strands, but it's just a little technique I want to show you guys before I'm finished with this. Just so you know about something else. Ah, I hate when I can't get the right place to put them. <laughs> 